dogs are away. Rough heads kick needs to be clean. It is. It's good and wide. Mark not reeled in there. Now on to Webb. Webb in the red boots. The left foot centering. Ball up on to Bally. Good linking play there from the dogs. Further than 25 to 30 metres. And really not a lot of angle about it either. He's dragged it a little, but it's a goal. Dogs get their second. As Daisy said, it started pretty well and flipped that over the top. Dalhouse runs on. He got some attention as he kicked the ball. Oh, well done, Bonham Pelly. Stuck the one mid up. And it came back in his lap. And full forward even for the perfect start to the second quarter. Directly in front. Bonham Pelly makes no mistake. Jump over the top of Hurley, but he missed. He missed the footy. Now the ground level skills for the big man. Brilliant play. He might get a free here. Bonham Pelly in the back, I reckon. Right. Devin. Nicely done. Bonham Pelly makes it five in a row. He's got a couple. So let's have a look at how close Matty Suckling gets, and that'll determine whether Chris Donnell lets it happen again. Never intending to go for it in the end. Off-hand, Bonham Pally quickly around the body. Goal! Got three. Play on, play on. He's weighted the kick. Bonham Pally was the leader. He gets there with the spoil. The ball wins it magnificently. It deserves a goal! The talent and the brilliance of Marcus Bonson Pally. From Tory Dixon, so a long time between drinks, but now that it's come, and maybe they can snatch a bit back. Suckling, penetration on the kick. There's one swan down, there's two swan down. The last man standing was Marcus Bonson Pally. <laughs> two in a row. That's an extraordinary piece of play. Caleb Daniel picks it up, puts it out in front of Richards. He takes the mark, and the little man dashes through the middle. Richards looks down towards the half-forward line. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle here. Here goes the Bond leading the ageing Hodge. He snaps at goal. That is how you do it. Welcome back for the Bond. Nutt has Rich in support. Who? No loss. Great work by Wallace. Lovely. Gets it back off Lipinski and then has Bonson Pally, who's going to run into goal. Kick his second. Well done, Mitch Wallace. <laughs> Running shotgun, forward handball Wallace. Back to McLean. Okay. He's now got Bonson Pally out the back again. One on one Eagles. Oh, Bonson Pally. Too good. The Bont. It'll be his third goal. Left foot drop punts on its way and he makes no mistake. Right on the siren, Bonton Pelly. Still on the defensive side of centre. His handball goes straight into the man on the mark in Bailey Dale, and that could cost them a goal. Bont says, I'll take it. I'll wander in for number four. And he does. That hurts. Hogan was all over the fact that he was looking for the receive. Massive snap of the goal. I think it's a goal into the doggies. Bonton Pelly's kicked an absolute ripper from the ball up. Left foot snap at goal. They've kicked three on the trot. It's full forward. Boyd was there. Little toe poke. Doesn't travel a lot of distance. Jetta has been brilliant in defence. A hurried high well, pass. And Bonton Pelly has kicked the first goal of the second half. Well, that's the best way to do it. Blurry front spot. Lipinski's a good goal scorer. Terrific stuff there by Howard. Then Biggs gets it out. Gets it out. Not too far to Honeychurch. Howard getting it down. Quick kick. Bottom Pelly. Yeah, he's got it. The bot has got it. He's done a reasonable job of it, I reckon. Kicks the centre half forward. Lipinski couldn't take the mark. Chipao, Pepper strong. McLean, Bottom Pelly. He's had a good night. He has spent a little bit of time at Assumption College. Josh Shackey. That one didn't quite oh. nail it, but Bonton Pally read it best. It drops a little short. Bonton Pally finishes, no problems. Scores level. First up, I am confused about Gower's state of health. I mean, at times tonight, you would have... Oh, look at this, Bonton Pally right spot. Forget about Gowers. I'm... No, can't pay Ben's remark. Amp, the young champion. 
There's your answer. They're going to be hard to beat. I reckon they're favourite now. I reckon for the first time tonight, they're favourite. He's up to the 17 disposals, called to play on. So he goes to the top of the square to two on two. Shaki there, Bontempelli oh. at the back. Just read it better than everyone did Bontempelli. And that's his first goal for the afternoon, and the Dogs take the lead. An opportunity for Dixon, can give it to Johannesson. He'll sprint through the St Kilda defence. Give it off to Bontempelli. Standing start from 48 metres. Dogs have got another. He's got his second. Dogs have got their tenth. Fourth quarter since round eight, so it'll be interesting to see what they can produce in the final term as Steele tried to lock it up, but Dunkley gives it to Bont and Pelly. He's got another one. The Bont has three all in this term. Goal down there, Brownie, and a lot of finger pointing going on there. So that's always a good sign. So he's Bont and Pally again for his fourth goal for the quarter. Marcus Bont and Pally is putting on a show. And the Western Bulldogs now kick 39 points clear. Because you can't mark the footy. 19 and a half minutes gone, second term. Roughhead and Majak Dor. Bontempelli bends it back and gets a much needed goal. Oh, there's your MO right there. Board of the Kangaroos to stretch it out to 27. The urgency required now for the Bulldogs is immense. Lipinski flicks the handball. The Bont might have to do it on his own. Had two parts to play in that little passage. Finds Lynch just beyond the fit. Give it back to Bont. Here's the third. The trifecta from the Bont. The Bulldogs number four. What a blast. The star. That is the Bont. Great call, Hutto. He did it all.